Okay, low key, they look like a gay couple, as if they're both bottoms. Let's just keep those dogs exposed. I don't feel like drawing shoes today. Why does she look like she has a neck tumor or something? Okay, let's draw myself as webtoon characters, because let's face it, I'm never gonna have this in real life. Anyway, so these three are like really famous on TikTok. I know that because I keep seeing thirst trap edits of them. Anyway, first is true beauty. First off, everyone and their mom knows this, okay? So the true beauty style is basically semi-realistic. They've got really good eye makeup and juicy lips. Let's try it out. Okay, so first let's paste it. Now I'm gonna remove the background first and just separate it. Okay, and now we get rid of her. Sorry, Jugyoung, but I will be replacing you now. All right. So first and foremost, we're just gonna make her bald because my hair is not smooth like that. By the way, I'm not gonna draw my face because that is so corny and cringe. I'm just gonna draw my mask cut, okay? Just a bit of a disclaimer. Anyway, now that she's bald, let's just remove the rest of the hair real quick. Oh, yes. Okay, low-key, they look like a gay couple, as if they're both bottoms. Also gonna remove this flower real quick. You'll see why later. And the hands, too. Okay, now they're in another layer. Now, I'm going to remove her clothes. Oh my gosh. Ichu, please don't ban me. This is for educational purposes, okay? She looks like that one dude from the ice cream commercial. Anyway, let's go back to the face. First of all, I do not have these eyes. I have Ching Chong eyes. So let's just make her model it real quick. I am also gonna remove this smile. Why is she smiling for no reason, bro? I do not want to draw myself smiling. I'm gonna draw myself frowning because there's nothing to smile about in my life. I mean, obviously, I'm still gonna keep the juicy lips because that's what's good. And also for the eyebrows, I'm gonna make her more ABG. I'm not ABG, but it doesn't hurt to make me hotter, right? Ooh. Okay, low-key, this looks pretty good, not gonna lie. Should I go bald? Well, anyway, I'm gonna draw my hair. My actual hair looks like this. Recently had it done. Material girl. But again, since I'm drawing my mask, I'm gonna do like the emo side bangs. People always assume that I'm a boy because of my PFP and also because of my freaking voice. So let's just draw the ponytail and let's just color real quick. Alright, here is our progress so far. Now I'm gonna break down her body so I know how to draw the clothes. Just drawing the opai. So I'm wearing a green sweater here. Fun fact, green is my favorite color. Don't get me wrong, green is ugly af, but it was my club penguin penguins color when I was a kid, okay? Anyway, let's just color it again. Just doing the hair shading real quick. The thing about webtoons is that they sell shade, which means that the shading is just a blocky solid color. No blending, okay? They don't got the time to render. They make like 50 drawings in one chapter, dude. And then the highlights. Let's also shade the sweater real quick. Okay, you know what? The sweater looks so plain, so let's just add some text. It's messy. Now it's looking a bit awkward, so let's just add a leaf or something. Right now we are going to bring back the background. Bruh, the gaps. You know what? I'm too lazy to fix this. Let's just liquefy it real quick. Just assume that she photoshopped herself like Kim Kardashian, okay? Right, here's the finished piece. I literally stole her man. Main character who? Next. Okay, next we got Operation True Love. TikTok people are crazy about this webtoon right now. And I get it, okay? Because the art style is so good, dude. They have really good line work. Even though they don't have any shading at all. Like, what? So good. Anyway, let's try it out. Obviously, I had to choose this scene, okay? I'm just gonna extend it a little bit because I'm lazy out. All right, work smart, not hard. Okay, wait, what the heck is this quality, bro? Never freaking mind. Let's just do this instead. I'm gonna extend it again. And Shazam! Next, let's find a pose that I could use. Ooh, kind of sus though. Ooh, a seductive pose. Let's try it real quick. I'm just gonna drag and drop it. What the? Bro transformed into a man. What happened to her curves though? Oh, all right, there we go. Okay, well, this looks like too much. Like, he's just standing there, like, menacingly. How is he supposed to react to that? You know what? Let's just try something more shy. Because I'm shy, I swear. All right, this is more like it. Let's just draw over it real quick. Honestly, though, this webtoon has really good line work. Like, I don't really have a brush like that, though. Also, let's just keep those dogs exposed. I don't feel like drawing shoes today. Besides, people are gonna enjoy this more. Freaking weirdos. Okay, now let's just use her head as a base. 
things. Now I'm gonna draw the same sweater and all. Okay, cool. Yet again, we're going to make her bald. I find it better to start from scratch than to just edit the hair because hair is so freaking hard, dude. Gonna give her those emo bangs again. Gonna add a bunch of random lines. All right, looking kinda okay. This looks like Operation True Love from Walmart. Let's just add more effects. Also, I'm gonna use this G pen to do the line work because this is actually so much more accurate. All right, we're finished. What do you guys think? Is this like something you would see on the webtoon itself or is it like a comic panel that you would see on Shein? Comment below. Lastly, we have Windbreaker. Bro, I freaking love the Windbreaker art style. It reminds me so much of Lookism. I've never read this webtoon though, but I always see it on TikTok. But one thing about it is that the women in this webtoon are absolute mommies, all right? And I honestly feel like it's more aimed at male audiences while the other two are for thirsty teenage girls. Anyway, so with that in mind, let's go. Okay, so here we have our base. Just gonna extend this part real quick, then just make the guy bigger to fill in the gap. Oh yes, Photoshop 100. Let's get her out of here, bro. Alright, now that she's gone, I'm gonna fill the background just so we don't end up like last time. Okay. I'm simply gonna trace her and then draw the other eye. Just copy paste this baby. Bro, she looks like a freaking egg. Let's remove the hair real quick. Okay, but why is her posture like that? Like, why does she look like she has a neck tumor or something and she's trying to hide it? Okay, again, let us draw the emo hair. Not really sure how I'm gonna approach this, honestly. Their art style is a bit more sketchy and not too clean though, which is also cool. Okay, first of all, my eyes are not blue. Let's remove the tattoos for now. I'm gonna draw a little spider tattoo tattoos just because. <laughs> Zam! She got those 11 pack abs. I still don't know what to do with the bottoms. Like, should I keep them or what? Because this skirt low-key looks like crap, dude. Okay, so never mind the whole thing. Bro, why am I so bad at this? I hate it. You know what? I'm just gonna copy paste the original sweater. Let's just remove the hair real quick. And then let's just make it green. Bam! Work smart, not hard. I'm a genius for real. Let's add the hair. Then let's add some lighting to the hair just to give it more dimension. Let's change the color of the jeans. Bro, I don't know what tattoo to put. What should I put here? Oh, I know. Since I love juicy lips so much, let us add the juicy line lips. Ain't no way I'm drawing that. So let's just deform this a bit and make it hug her thigh. And then bam, juicy line lip thigh. Okay, lastly, I'm gonna add an overlay of just so it blends in with everything else. Okay, what do you guys think? Did I nail it? Of course I nailed it. Look at the lime lips. Okay, so here are the speed paints. Okay, but out of all three, I really feel like True Beauty is the hardest art style to do because other than the clean AF line work, the faces are also based on real people, okay? Like literally, the author was almost sued, I believe, but I'm not really sure. Anyway, honestly, out of all three, Operation True Love has like the best art style because it just looks so webtoon, okay? Don't get me wrong, the other two are amazing as well, but it just don't hit as hard. Like, look at those broad shoulders. You telling me I'm not falling for that? Hell no. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Watch this video next and I'll see you there. Stay cool.